Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on uh, Catch of the Day and this is page two. And I just need to make sure I've got everything going the right way and I do. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, we've got a large flap that is five by eight. You're gonna score a half inch on the five inch side. And you can see my paper's kind of messed up but I've had to do it twice. It shouldn't matter to you. It's all gonna get covered with decorator paper anyway. Okay, so five by eight, score half inch on the five inch side. Make sure your pocket openings are to the left and right, and this is a finished eight by eight pocket page. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we've got a flap that is gonna go here on the right hand side and then we have kind of a flap extension. I'm calling it a top flap in the cut list and we'll go over that in just a minute. Let's go ahead and get the right hand side installed. This is four and a half by eight. Four and a half by eight and we're gonna score a half inch on the four and a half inch side. There we go. Okay, now this extended flap or top flap, and it's a flap on top of a flap, and they're both gonna go the same direction. They're both gonna open uh, to the left. Um, we are going to install this hinge one inch from the edge of this flap. So we're gonna come down one inch, both sides, and install the score line at the one inch mark. Oops, I didn't burnish that, so the tape came up with it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it sideways so I can better see my one inch tick marks. And I always like to get one side down and kind of use it as a pivot point. There we go. So that should look like this when you're done. So this is one inch from the score line to the edge of the flap. Okay, and then on top of this, we're going to install a photo mat. And this photo mat is four and three eighths by seven. Four and three eighths by seven. We're not gonna install it now. Uh, and that is because we're gonna put decorative paper here and then we're gonna add the, um, the photo mat. And when we're done, the photo mat will go on the inside, the right hand flap will close on top and keep everything intact, and then we still need to add a magnet here. And that'll keep everything tidy. Okay, so that's it for the flaps. Now the last piece is we're gonna put a pocket here. And this pocket, you're gonna start with four and a half by four and a half. So it's a square four and a half by four and a half. You're gonna score a half inch on three of the four sides. And then we're gonna install it like so. I got a little piece of paper sticking out there. There we go. Okay. There we go. And this goes right here. Now this is on the left-hand side flap and it's on the base flap, not on the extended or the top flap. There we go. So that is, and of course this will be attached here. That is page two. Okay, I'm gonna take a break, organize my papers, and in a few minutes, we will decorate page two. Okay guys, let's get started decorating page two. Sorry about that, I just ran into my desk with my uh, chair. And um, let's go over what we're using here. So this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. 
This is also from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Uh, I say that and I'm hesitating. I think it's really from Patterns and Solids. Nope, it's from the collection pack. And then this is from the 12 by 12. So all three of these uh, patterns are from the <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't get it together, guys. 12 by 12. It's just a matter of scale. The 8 by 8 would work here as well. But if you did use the 8 by 8, I would go with the 8 by 8 of this pattern also, just because they'd both be scaled down. This is going to go right here on top of this pocket, which I know is really hard to see. I hope everybody's doing well. It's a gorgeous day here in San Diego. They are going to have a prom for my son. I'm so excited. The senior class is having a graduation ceremony and now they're going to do something for prom something uh, not very traditional they're actually going to go to in san diego we have a uh, wild animal park and um, they're going to do something for the kids over there so it's an outdoor thing where they can easily you know create some distance between them so i think that's good and by then my son will have been fully vaccinated hopefully most of his friends as well Now this is just going to slip slightly into the pocket. I don't know why, but one side always goes in a little bit easier than the other. There we go. Oh gosh, it took me so long that the glue dried to be a little bit wet so I can wiggle it in. So I need to work a little faster. There we go. Ta-da! Okay went down a little further than I would have liked. I'm just making sure that there's no glue um, when I pulled it back out that got left behind. I think we're okay. Okay, now um, this is our 12 by 12 collection pack. This is a great collection for, um, I know not all dads are outdoorsmen, but um, for Father's Day, um, for anybody who has a fisherman in their family. Okay, now to, in order to pull some of these patterns back in, I'm going to use a strip right here. And this strip is seven eighths. It doesn't have to be seven eighths. Um, if you want to do um, one inch, that's fine. But I'm going to put a strip here and then I'm going to cut another strip to go on this side. So when it's open, you'll see this pattern on both sides. Looks like I've already inked it. Let me make sure that's not going to interfere. I might have done that because of the magnet placement. And you know what? I think because I am in a color block, I think I'm gonna move my magnet over um, because it's awfully, I'll, I'll put a magnet on top. It's awfully close to where the other paper is gonna lay over. It's gonna have a hard time laying down. So I'm gonna shift it over just a bit. That happens once in a while. And then of course that means we have to relocate this. So I'm going to lay this in and get a feel. Okay, that's going to allow me to get 
completely around the magnet with the, the other paper. Now, we need to lift this up and then we'll do the same thing and shift it. I find that if you roll it off, it does less damage to the paper. be enough room on this side too. Yeah, I think that's going to work. It's pretty close. I should have done this first. I should have, because I forgot that this is actually a little bit shorter than this panel. So even though I moved this down quite a bit, it's still pretty high on this side. So I'm going to shift it one more time. But before I do, I think I'm going to go ahead and glue this in place um, so I, I get a better feel for where that magnet should be. I should have based it on uh, this side, not that side. Live and learn. <clears throat> okay, it is it is time to clean my tip. It's either not coming out or gushing out. Okay, let me make sure I got this the right orientation. Yes, I do. Ah! God, I hate it when that happens. Luckily, it's in a spot that's not going to be very obvious. And that's usually a sign of me needing to take a break when I start dropping things. Okay, now that this is in, I can see for sure... That's too tight. Um, the other paper is not going to go all the way over the magnet, so or potentially bubble up. So I'm going to move it again. To about right here, which means this has to move again. I'm trying to reuse the tape because I didn't burnish it, so it should be okay. Now I gotta make sure none of this is sticky. The only thing I want to stick is the magnet. <laughs> Whoops. I took the tape covering. I'm not ready to uncover that yet. Okay, so I think we're all set now. There we go. All right, I think we're set. Now I need to line up uh, another strip to go on this side and finish decorating the inside. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I uh, trimmed this out. And again, this could be one inch. Um, this is seven eighths, that's what I've done. And partly because that just happened to be a strip that I had left over. And if I don't use it here, it's unlikely that I'll use it anywhere else. So in order for it to, to match, I just made this one 7 eighths as well. But if you have a one inch strip, then use that and make another one inch strip. Uh, I find one inch is, is really easy to work with. I very rarely go below a half inch because they're just too hard to handle in the trimmer. It's too easy to get them crooked. And this is going to go on this edge. They're like, oh, did I ink it? I did. I did. Like so. Oh, it's a little too low. I'm, I'm going to lift it real quick. Goodness, I need to turn it sideways so I can see both edges. Okay. 
There we go. All good. Hmm. Not all good. It didn't, my glue dried on me. It doesn't feel that warm today, but my glue is drying very quickly. I'm just so sloppy with the glue today. Okay, it's lunchtime after this. <laughs> I need to take a break because I keep dropping things. The good thing about art glitter glue is it dries clear and matte. Lots of glues dry clear, but they don't always dry matte. So. I'm a big fan of this glue for that reason. But if you can get some of the excess off, all the better, because it does leave a trail, as you can see, but at least it's not shiny. Okay. That's it. When we get back, we will work on decorating the rest of this uh, the inside parts of this and then also install our photo mat but I am going to take a break because I am I'm dropping things and take a break not drink any caffeine <laughs> I'll be back soon so we can finish page two, page two okay thanks for coming back everybody we are on um page two and I'm ready to do the inside um I still haven't done uh an insert for this and I I'd like to refer you back to the walkthrough. Um, I'm not done with the rest of my pages, so I don't know what paper is going to be left at this point. Um, but again, the size of the insert will be in the cut list. Um, but the decorative paper that I choose is really going to be based on what's left. And I've got a long way to go before I know that answer. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so as you recall, this opens. And so I've chosen these two. Um, this I'll set aside my paper so it's a little less confusing. These two are going to go on here. This is going to go on the inside and the inside. Okay, so let's get started by, actually, we need to put this down. The, the easiest one, which is the base. This is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. And while I was taking a break, I went and cleaned my tip, so hopefully it won't be giving me as many problems as I was having earlier. And this has an orientation, so I was just making sure I was getting it the right way. The, the letters are quite small. Okay, and since we do have it open, let's go ahead and put these two pieces in. This is from the 8x8 collection pack. Um, both sides are. It's the plaid pattern. I'm going to close this so we don't have to look at it. And sorry, I don't have it inked. I got everything trimmed, but not inked. There's two panels, but they're not equal size, so make sure you're getting getting the right one lined up with the right page. I've been known to mess that up. And this pattern is not really directional, so you can put it down upside down, sideways, doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, the plaid's not directional. It's symmetrical.
that needs to get shifted over. There we go. Okay, now we'll add this side. I'm gonna dry fit it again real quick. Everything looks good. Is going on but I haven't had any luck sort of sliding or nudging my papers in to where they need to be it's just grabbing almost like it's magnetic like it's static but we're in for now so those are the the left and right panels okay so the next thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go ahead and put down these two tan pieces and they're gonna go in like, so actually, no, we're gonna go ahead and add this. So right here on this hinge, we're going to add a strip and I just pulled this strip in again. Um, I'm trying to remember if this is the large one or the small one, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's from the eight by eight or the um, 12 by 12. Is from the 12 by 12. I wish Graphic did this thing. I've seen it done on other designer papers where in the header, you know how they have the name of the paper. Um, and sometimes I'll put like a little square of the pattern. They don't do that, and I wish they did, because then I could stay, save the strips, and then you know, know, I can go back and figure out where it came from and what the actual name of the pattern is. But they don't do that, so why do I have this? I don't know. I don't know, but this is what goes on next. And I'm just checking to make sure it's trimmed to fit, and it is. This has not been inked. And it's fish on the flip side. This is from the Patterns and Solids collection. 12 by 12, Pattern and Solid. So that's gonna open like that, and I like the way that looks. Looks good. We still have to add our photo mat, which is gonna go here. Um, but let's go ahead and finish doing the panels. So that's done. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to open. So the last one is going to be right here. It looks like I need to trim this down a little bit more. Let's try it again. Just right. Um, is it the right height too? It is. Oh my gosh, I just had a wave of panic like I forgot to hit the record button. But, I mean, you guys hear me say that all the time, but it does happen get almost done with a page just to realize you hadn't recorded any of it. It's happened to me twice in this album. <laughs> I had to rebuild um, two pages. All right, 
there we go. Now, let's see. This is four and three eighths by seven, four and three eighths by seven, and it's gonna get installed right here. So the important thing about this installation is it's gonna go in like this. This is gonna keep everything intact. So when you go to install this, you need to make sure you're clear of your, um, your hinge area on this side and this side. And I think four and a, you know what, I'm gonna test a four and a quarter. If four and a quarter works, even better. Um, but I'm afraid it might actually get caught in, uh, did I say four and three eighths? I did, so I mean four and a half. Let's see, can we get it installed and still close this? Ah, still, it's too tight. I can feel it getting stuck in the hinge here. So that's disappointing. So we're gonna stick with four and three eighths by seven. And we're gonna to wanna to cover the flip side first before we install it. And I think we wanna do something red and I hadn't picked anything out yet. So we're gonna pick something out real quick. It's gonna look like that. That's a lot. Maybe something else. I do think it needs to be red. Let's see, does the crab pattern work better? It's it's a lot softer. I think I like that better. So I'm gonna find a big piece of this and we're gonna use that on the flip side. So I need a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, I found some of this crab paper and I think it's gonna look good uh, in the continuous uh, flow of the patterns across. So we are going to, it doesn't need to cover the whole back since it's gonna actually be applied. So let's get this covered. Then we're gonna flip it over and figure out what pattern we wanna use on the front side. And I, I wanna show you a couple of things that I wanna consider when I'm choosing my pattern. Can't I get my pressure right on my glue to, I don't know what it is. I don't think I've ever had this much trouble. Um, it's like, it's just too much is coming out. Okay, there we go. All right, so it's going to get installed like so. So let's go ahead and make that installation. And all you wanna do is make sure you're clear of this hinge area. Um, I'm not trying to have any of the blue show. I just wanted it to, you know, in fact, we probably didn't need an entire strip. Just a little piece on either end would have done the trick. So, yeah, that works. Okay, I'm going to mark it on this side. And that's where we want our glue. It's just going to be centered. Okay, here we go. So that's what it's going to look like. And it even looks nice with the little trim around it. So now um, what I want, when you, when you first open it, this is what you're going to be presented with. Then you have to lift this in order to... Uh, get this mechanism to work. So what I want to do is I want to pick a pattern uh, to go on this photo mat, but I'd like for it to work well with this, um, with these panels uh, in the position that they're in, this one being open, this one being closed. So we have this cream and blue, so I think it would be um, wise to maybe put uh, some red back here. 
So the other option would be to pull the plaid in again, which also looks nice. So we have the plaid over here. And then when we opened it, we could, I think maybe that, I like that. So this one's not wide enough. So let's see, oops, got one, nope, we don't. I guess it doesn't really matter if I don't have one wide enough. And I don't. Okay, so I need a minute to pick a pattern. Okay, I picked out this, this, and I think it's gonna look good. So when you close it and you have it just displayed like this, you get this neat little red strip, uh, stripe strip running down the center. So I think that looks good. So we're gonna get this glued on and then I'll walk you through the whole page one more time. And this is from the 12 by 12. Uh, yeah, 12 by 12 collection. I wish they had a blue stripe in this one, but they don't. It's the plaid. I love stripes. Um, I, I don't like it when they don't put a stripe in their collection. I think um, stripes make it very easy to layer because um, you're, you're coordinating, but it's not too busy um, of a pattern. There we go. You guys will have to tell me what you think. Okay, so oh, this closes to keep everything intact, and then this closes, and there's the front. So again, we are going to do an insert. Uh, the size will be in the cut list, and then the designer paper that I choose uh, is really going to be based on what paper I have left over. Um, but it won't be too fancy. I might do a two-tone where there's sort of a top and then or and then a, a coordinating strip and then the rest will be a you know solid pattern. Um, so there'll be a little bit of color blocking here, but not too much because there's already a lot going on. Okay, so here is I have to remind myself, page two in the closed position. And that's uh, the first flap, second flap and then it opens like so. So there's a ton of space for photos. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Close this, that, that's it. Okay, thanks everybody. Back soon with page three.